Hello, Anselm Griffin here with another YouTube tutorial in MATLAB. I think it's number 242 and it's the 24th of March uh, 2020. So we're looking at the trapezoidal rule, get the area under a curve and also we want to do some error analysis and how many steps or how many strips do we need to take to get within a certain level of accuracy. So the function we're looking at is e to the minus x squared 1 to 3 with 10 strips. So each step is 0 0.2. I published it here. So I'm going to run through this. So I tidy up. I just read in that image. There are sort of two formulae for doing the trapezoidal rule. And I've taken the more general one here. And I assume you can read the summation. I, I'm not going to go through it. So I did it three ways. The lower limit, I'm integrating between 1 and 3. Step size of 0.2. And for later on, for doing the for loop, I need to know how many uh, times I'm going to go through the for loop. So that size x is important. Uh, I've generated the x in that line, generated the y in this line here, and x dot power 2, each individual element squared. I assume you know what that's about. So here we go, Tick, start the timer, get the um, area under the curve using the inbuilt function, calculate the elapsed time, spit the answer out on the fprintf, and spin the area out there. So second method of doing it is a for loop uh, so the number of columns you remember columns is 11 so that would imply 10 strips so 11 minus 1 is 10 so i've done it by 10 strips there we are we just get our running sum calculate the elapsed time f print f out the elapsed time f print f out the area under the curve and then I did it in a vectorized version there. And just scroll down a little bit. Now, obviously, the three methods should give the same answer. Yes, 1600, 0.790705. All three give the same answer to six decimal places. And you see there, if the three methods are around the uh, inbuilt function, it's the slowest, which sort of surprised me. And then the for loop is a little bit slower than the uh, elapsed and the vectorized version okay now some error analysis so there's a formula here to calculate the max error so i just screen grab that put that in so how you do that so that line there is just displaying that image there. F prime, that's the differentiation of e to the x squared is 2x e to the x squared. And double prime is, that's a product. And when you multiply out the product, that's what you get there. And the largest value is, coming from here, that slots in there, b minus a, that's 3 minus 1, which is 2, etc. Um so we calculate that out sorry i said something slightly misleading there when you get the largest value apologies for that that's later on is f double prime between one and three the largest value is three it's always going to be greater than zero for all values of this here it must be greater than zero between one and three so the biggest value is going to be three so the biggest possible value is 38 by e to the power of that. And there should be a little equal sign in there, which is 307917, 307,917. So the largest value is that. So that value is important. Because that's, we use that later on. Just one sec now. So M2 is the largest value. So I cut and pasted this before. So we showed that there. That's as above. That 
the maximum error possible. B minus A, so that would be 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 over 12, by H is the strip of the width, which is uh, 0.2 in this case, by the maximum possible error, which is that. Scroll down here, so the maximum possible error is 2052. And then finally, how many strips would we have to take to, so that the certain error is a predefined value? So we're looking at it here. The biggest error that we're going to allow is to be 0.5 out. Okay, seems a bit large, but just pick some value. So B minus A over 12, H squared is 0.2, M2 is 307917, so 3 minus 1, the minus didn't come out very well, etc. By M2, so if we rearrange the formula for this one, it's 640.4.5.6.7, whatever it is. So Obviously, you can't have 640.6, so you want to round up, so I would make it 641. So how did I do that? Excuse me, I said the tolerance was 0.5. I banged the numbers, that line there, I banged the numbers in there, upper limit minus lower limit, all over 12. That's 2 over 12, which gives me the 1, 6 there. Upper limit minus lower limit, that's 3 minus 1, which is 2. 2 squared is 4. By the biggest theoretical value, 307917, which would be good. Divided by the tolerance, which is 0.5. Spit that out, you get 640.75. And we want to round up always, so how do you round up in MATLAB ceiling, C-E-I-L? So you get 641. Okay, so hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening.